It will make all the difference whether humanity can prepare for its engagement with the greater community. I'm here to speak to you of some important matters. There is a new message from God that is coming into the world, a revelation from God being actually received now by one humble man. It is the largest body of revelation ever to be received in recorded history. Ever to be received in recorded history. Nothing like this has happened for over a thousand years. The voice and the written word of this revelation seek to reach people all over the world. It seeks to stir in humanity, in all of us, a direct experience of knowing and personal revelation. It is a calling. It has come in this time, in our time. So it will make all the difference whether humanity can prepare for the greater community. There is a messenger. His name is Marshall Vian Summers. I am his wife and his closest companion. I have been with him for 30 years. He was selected and prepared before this time by a vast angelic assembly, the intermediaries of God, as they say of themselves. He was sent here and is receiving, and now still receiving, this vast revelation. I have been a witness to this. The mission of this man, this messenger, is to bring this revelation to the world, to find its first respondents, to give them the opportunity to engage with the revelation and to come to terms with their own deeper nature and calling in life. This is his mission. His mission is to give the secret restoration, as the revelation calls it, to the individual, to prepare humanity for the greatest events in human history, which are upon us now. The mission of the messenger is to establish God's new revelation here sufficiently in his remaining years, in these years, in your years. So that now humanity can begin to prepare for the changing world in which we live. And humanity may now prepare for its engagement with the greater community itself. There are great corridors of this new message revelation. The greater community is one of them. There is a reality and a spirituality to life in the universe, and that is what the term greater community represents. Humanity, all of us here today, together, are beginning to emerge out of our sense of isolation in the universe. Some of us have been looking heavenward since childhood. Some of us have. I am one. We are a whole world kind of person. We are world citizens. We are connected to the universe. This is so of us. And as a result, we know things. We've always known things, haven't we? We know something of this greater community. We're here for this time. And we are the first to know of this man, this revelation, we are the first. It will make all the difference whether humanity can prepare for its engagement with the greater community. 
I say that and I continue to say that because it's true. There is a new message from God coming into the world. I will leave you with some important questions. How do you feel about this beautiful earth? How do you feel about this beautiful earth? How do you feel about a God now of the greater community, not just a human God? Do you have a sense of having roots in the greater community? How do you feel about the threshold of emerging into the greater community, this, this threshold for humanity happening during your lifetime? How do you feel about that? Can humanity take the steps that will lead us to a new world? What do you see about that? Is this new message from God capable of awakening humanity to the greater community? I ask you, based upon everything you know, not everything you think, everything you know and have always known, I ask you this. Looking back on human history and on global affairs today, how do you feel about intervention of one culture upon another? If we look back in history and we consider the history of intervention within our world and what has happened as a result of that, how do you feel about that? Do you know much about that? Can humanity grow up to face the greater community? And can we pay attention, be observant, objective and honest with ourselves? It's a question. It will make all the difference whether humanity can prepare for its engagement with the greater community.